The Master Keys series of mechanical keyboards from Cooler Master features genuine Cherry MX switches and the flexibility of choice. Whether you want small, medium, or large, you can pick your size and pick your color with RGB and clear white LED backlighting options. Click the sponsor link in the description for more information. Excellent! So about a month ago, sometime after the Ryzen launch, AMD hit me up and asked if I wanted to take a look at a Ryzen build from Main Gear. I was a little confused at first. Do you want me to build a Ryzen system with Main Gear, I asked? No, they said, they'll send the system over, already built. Needless to say, I was a little bit confused, but it turns out that to get a nice desktop gaming PC, you don't necessarily need to put it together yourself. Main Gear is just one of quite a few boutique system builders who will build a customized system to the specs that you choose, test it, pack it up and ship it to you so you can be robbed of the joy of building it yourself with your own two hands, even if your hands end up getting a bit bloodied in the process. Cheating is what I call it, but I suppose I can take a quick look at the build that they sent since it is from their special edition R1 line and it does have a Ryzen 7 1800X CPU and two GTX 1080s in SLI with a green Razer theme and a nicely done custom liquid cooling loop. Now, to be honest, I had no idea they were sending a custom water-cooled system. I was expecting something that was a little bit more off the shelf, but given the size and weight of the shipment, I should have probably been tipped off. Main Gear does a really nice job with their packing, though, and you'll get a massive outer box with extra padding for the case's retail box that's inside. You'll also find accessories here, which for me included a nice Main Gear t-shirt, a Corsair bag with all of the extra cables from the sleeved power supply cable kit that they used, an external slim DVD burner, strange enough, but okay, I guess, and a dossier which held relevant accessories such as screws and SATA cables, a Kingston USB drive loaded up with a Windows recovery image, which is very nice to have, a main gear mouse pad, a remote for the RGB LEDs inside, and documentation. It's very new PC user friendly with a simple yet detailed quick start guide and a QA sheet showing all the steps and checks that your main gear tech went through when building and setting up the system. My builder was Sean. Thanks, Sean. Good job. Inside the bigger box is your actual case box, an NZXT H440 Razer edition in this case, lol. Even though I could tell the shipment got bounced around a bit, uh, everything inside was pretty much just fine. Main Gear uses form-fitted foam that's inside the system itself during shipping, so that keeps stuff safe, and there is a warning message on the side panel when you first take it off that tells you to remove all that stuff inside. So with the system unpacked and safety foam removed, I can finally check out the build. And oh my god, is it a pretty one. Core components again are the AMD Ryzen 7 1800X 8-core CPU and two GTX 1080s from NVIDIA in SLI with a main gear high bandwidth SLI bridge. I like the contrast that the silver finish on the MSI X370 X Power Gaming Titanium motherboard provides. Uh, the memory is a couple Kingston HyperX Fury DDR4 8 gig sticks, so 16 gigs total rated for 2666 speed. And for storage, there is a Samsung 960 Pro 512 gig NVMe M.2 SSD and a two terabyte Seagate notebook hard drive. The power supply is a Corsair AX860i with the sleeved cable kit, and the case, again, is the NZXT H440 Razer Edition with green underglow and glowing Razer and Main Gear logos on the front and PSU cover, respectively. Water cooling is handled with components from EK, Bits Power, and Coolants. EK handles the CPU with the Supremacy Evo AM4 Edition CPU block, GPUs with full cover clear acrylic blocks and chrome finish reflective backplates that really look nice with the uh, MSI motherboard in there, and then the DDC X-Res combo pump and reservoir sits towards the front of the case and it contains most of the loops green dyed liquid from e-coolant. Main gear went with Bits Power's excellent soft tubing compression fittings throughout the build and they also threw in a couple quick disconnect fittings from coolants at the GPU assembly's uh, inlet and outlet which should be pretty helpful for future disassembly or maintenance. I also like that there's a ton of room above the reservoir to access it for refilling the loop or topping it off. Rounding out the loop, we have two 360mm radiators at the top and the front, with airflow provided by seven Thermaltake green LED 120mm fans. Build quality throughout the system is superb. Cable management is expert level, looks very clean, and even though this was rough handled in shipping, the loop came completely topped off and leak free. Thank goodness. As for performance, I would expect it to be pretty nice given this, uh, this hardware configuration and the cooling, so here are some test numbers for you guys. Enjoy.
As for noise, even under full load, this system remains very quiet, and that is one of the bonuses of water cooling. Here's a test. Now, if I have a critique of this R1 Special Edition system from Main Gear, it is definitely gonna be the cost. Everything costs more than you would pay at retail when you buy a system like this. For instance, uh, you could select the 1700X when parting out this system. 1700X retail costs $399. If you upgrade to an 1800X though, using their configurator, it should cost hundred bucks more. They'll charge you 150 bucks more. That is the upcharge when configuring your system. And those examples exist throughout all of the different selections you might choose when upgrading to better parts. I tried to configure this exact build that I have here on Main Gear's website, but I couldn't choose all the exact components that I uh, that they actually used in this system. Uh, so even though I only choose a single, chose a single GTX 1080, uh, and I did choose hardline tubing though instead of soft tubing, but the price they uh, issued me was $5,529. I parted out a build on PC Part Picker with pretty much the same components, even a CPU liquid cooler and a full Windows license. Granted, it was not a full custom water cooling loop, so bear that in mind, but the cost there was about $2,750. Any way you slice it, you're going to be paying a lot more for the full boutique experience. A small quibble as well, but uh, just aesthetically, this system is very much tied to the green theme, meaning that the RGB strip that they put back here only really works when it's set to complementary colors, which is basically green, or the sort of greenish yellow that I have selected right here. Basically, there weren't many options. Finally, I would have liked to see some out-of-the-box overclocking. Even with this awesome cooling loop in place, the GPUs and CPU are still running at stock, unless you go in and tweak th those settings yourself. Pros are there, of course, though. For instance, you're gonna get lifetime angelic service, labor, and phone support with any main gear system that you buy, and that is definitely a big value, especially for anyone who's not familiar with building or setting up their own system. Uh, you also get a one-year comprehensive warranty on the system itself, uh, and you can extend that to two or three years by paying an extra 100 bucks a year. You also get the entire system delivered to you, built and ready to go, and that is saying something as well. The amount of labor that would go into a build like this is definitely worth some money, so that's something to consider. Ultimately though, I'm sure there's lots of you guys out there who watch my channel who would never buy a system like this, simply because you know how to put, put it together yourself. That said, there's also tons of people who want to get into PC gaming, who are interested in high-end builds, who just aren't that into building the system themselves, and it's great to have an option like this for folks who can afford it, and for folks who want the peace of mind of having the warranty, as well as the service available from Main Gear, and they are a very reputable company, excellent track record, very positive reviews, and I'm confident that as long as you're willing to pay the price for it, you would be happy if you happened to buy a Main Gear system. All that said, I'd like to hear you guys' feedback of what you think about a boutique system versus building yourself. Obviously, there might be pros and cons that I left out here, so leave me those comments down in the comment section below. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more videos of course coming very soon on Paul's Hardware. Thanks again for watching guys. We'll see you next time.